Yoshi, what in the world you got there? A big frog that we caught in our pond. Look at him. Let me see his feet. Wow. Turn around. Look at his legs. Hey guys, I'm repurposing this old cattle panel to make some garden stakes for a project we have going in there. I'm using my angle grinder to cut it. And a little later we'll show you what we're doing in the garden with them. This one's not wanting to come out. There it goes. All right, so we have these little barbs left from when I cut them. These little chunks where it was welded. And I was hoping, I was going to cut these off, but I was hoping that it would be easier to hammer off with a hammer. And the first one went well, so I was hoping they would all go well, but apparently they aren't going well. <laughs> a little harder than you thought. Uh -huh. So he's got a forge back there, but what's going on with your forge? Well, Joseph put a bunch of coal dust and powder in the uh, blower system, so it's all jammed up. And I don't have any coal or charcoal. So. And you're hoping to build a, a whole new forge system, huh? Yep. I hope it goes well. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you're going to keep trying at these? I'm probably just going to start up my grinder again. Grind them off? Yeah. Well, I sure appreciate your help, Caleb. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Alright, so we are actually building a little miniature tunnel. And the reason we're doing that is because we've had issues with brassicas here in Missouri um, getting completely eaten up by bugs in the middle of the summertime. They do okay springtime and a little bit better in the fall, but in the summer, um, it doesn't matter what we do, we have major bug issues. We had in this bed here, um, we planted tons of marigolds and we had potted peppermint. In, in hopes that that would deter the bugs and it did not. They think they helped for a little bit but once summer hit the bugs just ate up the plants. <laughs> so we're going to try covering the plants see if that'll keep the, the white moths out of the bed. And we also had issues with flea beetles. I don't know if this will keep the flea beetles out but we'll see. <laughs> Is it sturdy? Nice. All right, here it is. It's a very small area because we don't have very much row cover right now. But at least we have a little area. Mom has a little area to put her kale and chard now. Hopefully keep it safe from the bugs. We have another spot here in the greenhouse to also hopefully protect the kale and chard from bugs. See you on the next video. Thanks for watching. We pray a blessing for you and yours. If you do, do it with your whole heart.